I've tried to sketch out the external anatomy of the chest and show the lung on the other side just to give you a sense of uh, a procedure that is commonly utilized for removal of stage one lung cancer called lobectomy. Now if your doctor tells you that you need a lobectomy, presumably it's for a stage one or stage two lung cancer, generally there has to be some access through the outside of the chest. Collar bones are up here. This is the very top of the breastbone. The head is up here and the feet are down here for orientation. This would be the right side and this is the left side. These dark areas, darkened areas, are the ribs. So there has to be some access through the tissues of the chest and through the ribs in order to get access to the lung that needs to come out. There are several ways to gain access through the ribs. The standard and traditional way is to make a large incision, generally in between ribs. And once that incision is made, the ribs are spread apart to create some space to allow access into the lung. Now, as times have changed and technology has improved, we're able to gain access to the lung using slightly smaller uh, and more sophisticated approaches. The incision size using video cameras or the robot can be truncated to this size. And there is not a particular need to spread the ribs anymore because what you are doing is you are introducing a visualization system through a small incision down here where you can actually look to see what's going on on the inside of the chest without opening up the ribs to the same degree that we used to. So with one incision of perhaps two inches or one and a half inches, as well as a few other smaller ports spaced throughout the chest, we can accomplish the same as if we were to make one large incision. That translates into less pain, less time in hospital, and generally less complications if the operation can in fact be done with these lesser minimally invasive techniques. 